What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video, man. Today, W23 season pass has been well leaked by uh, this site called MP1ST.com. So, we're gonna dive straight into it, man. Before you get the video started, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe, to post notifications. We gotta roll to 3,800 subscribers. We're literally just 70 subs away. So, it would be a huge favor if you guys subscribe to the channel. I need 50 plus likes on this video. Help me hit recommended. We gotta talk about the season fast right now. Let's get into it. No, no time to waste, man. Let's go. All right. So look, this was posted about 30 seconds ago, and the link isn't working anymore. So take it with a grain of salt. Shout out to what's the status? He found the season pass link, uh, but it's took it. They took it down immediately. So you guys know every time they take a website down immediately, that means it's most likely true. All right. So we gotta go over every single pack in the DLC for WSK23. Let's get to it. First up, we got DLC number one. We got the uh, Steiner roll pack featuring Scott Steiner, Rick Steiner, B Fab, Top Dollar, and Ashton Adonis. All right, from this pack right here, man, I would say for me personally, I don't really care about Hit Row. I don't really care about the Steiner Bros, but I would get every single DLC. So it doesn't matter to me, you know what I'm saying? I would get every single DLC pack. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, for me personally, when I'll rate this DLC pack number one at a scale of one to ten, I'll probably rate it. I rate it like a seven because I like I like uh hit roll a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But I'll rate this pack a seven. The uh Steiner bro brothers are a good choice because Braun Breaker's in the game, so it only makes sense that the Steiner brothers are in the game. And B Fab as a manager, as a manager only, she's not gonna be playable. And then hit roll, that's the inclusion we see in the poster that with the map with the cd so hit roll is going to be in the game automatically anyway so yeah this is dlc pack number one steiner roll pack uh let me know in the comment section what are these packs are your favorite let's get into the second one all right the dlc pack number two they're calling it pretty sweet pack uh contains carl anderson luke gallows tiffany stratton elton prince and kit williams all right so pretty deli's in here tiffany strad's in here which i like uh, OC's in here, which I like as well. They don't have be a yeah, don't be a yeah, be here. Oh, uh, but for me personally, I just I like DLC pack number two way more than I like DLC pack number one. So I'll rate it at an uh, eight out of ten. I like Pretty Deli. They're actually good at NXT. You guys should watch NXT a lot more because they have a lot of NXT stars in this pack. So yeah, I like uh Pretty Deli. Tiffany Stratton, I like her a lot. Um, she's a future NXT star. So Tiffany Stratton is up there for me in terms of uh superstars female new upcoming stars they need to build up her character a bit more uh work her promos a little bit more but her move set up there so she's actually good uh her story when she first came in we see it on the map with a credit card so yeah that's tiffany strand so her inclusion is an automatic w all right the oc the oc came back last year in october november the pair with aj styles they also brought up mia yeb but you don't see her in here i never use mia yeb so i don't really care about her being in the game or not but you guys are bad about that i don't know why i'm pretty sure nobody uses media yeb anyway so it doesn't really matter and also you know what's the status gonna have community creation for you guys to download me a year all right so but the inclusion of carl anderson and luke gallows the oc is fantastic i like the more tag teams in my universe mode to build up the tag team division the more it's already in included in the game the less i have to download for um alternate tires and take space for that as well because we might not have more than 100 slots they haven't talked anything about the entire slots this year so Hopefully, we have more than 100 so I can download more stars. But yeah, the occlusion of the OC is fantastic. So I'll rate this pack an 8 point. I'll rate it an 8.5 out of 10. They got Pretty Deadly in there, former NXT Tag Team Champions. Tiffany Stratton, a new star, making her first debut in the game. So is Pretty Deadly. And then returning to the OC. All right. So they already had the OC. You could have made the OC this year easily. They had the OC. Um, a ring announce the name they have the motion already in the game all they need to do as stars this year which they did so yeah dlc number two i rated as an 8.5 out of 10 all right dlc number three race to the nxt pack we have harley race ivy deal Wendy chu tony d'angelo and trick williams now this pack for me is i'm not really excited for dlc number three if this is actually true but uh trick williams it goes with Kamala hayes so that's pretty cool that he's included his day first time in a w video game Tony D'Angelo, I don't really know about him that much, so I don't really care. Wendy Chu, eh, he's, she's cool, but, you know, she's part of the XC 2.0 class. I don't really care about her as well, you know what I'm saying? But she's cool. 
Uh, Ivy Dale, I actually like her a lot. I like Ivy Dale. I don't know nothing about Hollywood Race as she was last seen in the WWE game in 1980-something, so I really don't know about her. So me personally, the only two I'm looking forward to is Ivy Dale and Trick Williams, but you never know. Tony D'Angelo's moveset could be fire. So could Wendy Chu. So, but for me personally, I'll rate this as a 6 out of 10 for me for DLC number 3, Race to the XT Pack, because I don't know. I'm not going to really... I don't think I'm going to use all these stars like that. Probably am, though. Knowing me, you guys know me, I stream this game every I'll stream this game every single day on my YouTube channel. So if you guys do subscribe to the channel, it'll be out a lot. We're gonna roll to we only 70 subs away from 3,800 subs. So hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, but yeah, most likely I won't use them. I won't use Harley Race either. I barely lose the legends this year. The only legend I'll probably well new star I'll use most of the times though I like Logan Paul a lot this year. But um, anyways, back to this right here, DLC number three. I rate DLC number three, race to the XT pack. I rate it like a six out of ten. The only two people I want to use is Trick Williams and Ivy Dill. I'll probably use Trick Williams as a manager to Carmelo Hayes, which Carmelo Hayes is already in the base game. So yeah, Trick Williams, Ivy Dill, the only two stars I like to use. And I'll rate this pack at uh, six out of ten. Alright. DLC number four. Reveal with the Wyatt pack. We got Bray Wyatt, Zia, Sir Sarah Logan, Joe Gacy, Blair Davenport. Bray Wyatt, very excited. He's back in the game. He hasn't been in the game since WWE 2K20 with that stupid uh DLC they had in 2K20. 2K20 was just a mess. I never played it, so I'm glad Bray Wyatt's back in the game. So that's a good sign there. Um Zia's, I don't I don't know who that is, so I don't really I can't really tell you guys about Zia's. Sarah Logan's back in the game as well. Her last inclusion inclusion was in I think 2K20 as, as well. So that's pretty cool. Joe Gacy making his debut in the game with six of um I'm surprised they didn't get all the other guys in there, but at least we have one star in there. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the six of motion in there. So Joe Gacy inclusion is W. Brian Davenport is a W as well. I like her uh move set, I like her wrestling style. She's from NXT UK, so that's pretty much a W. Um the only star I don't know about is Zia's, but everybody else I do know about. So this DLC pack number four, I rate a clean, a solid 8.5 out of 10. I'm excited to play as Bray Wyatt, Blair Davenport, and Joe Gacy. Sarah Lowey can go with the Viking Raiders as she's a manager to go with the Viking Raiders in real life, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, this I think DLC four and DLC number th two is up there for me. Um, yeah, DLC number four is rated 8.5 out of 10. DLC number five, Bad News You, you Pack. Alright, it comes with Eve Torres, Wade Barrett, they be a Kemp, Andre Chase, and Nathan Fraser. Uh, for me personally, I don't really care about Eve Torres, but uh, I know fans out there do, so that's good for them. Wade Barrett hasn't been in the game for a very long time, I think since 2K17, I believe. And correct me if I'm wrong, so I'm, quite, I'm glad he's back in there. Uh, Damian Kemp, I don't know nothing about him. Andre Chase, first time in the game. Glad he's in there. Nathan Fraser, glad he's in there as well. So I rate this pack a cool, a cool 7.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys rate these packs, man. The one I'm excited about is DLC number 4 and DLC number 2. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe. This is the DLC pack that has been leaked. Uh, the season pass pictures right here. WD 2023 season pass with Wade Barrett on the cover as well. So thank you guys for watching. I need 70 subscribers to hit 3,800. If you guys will, subscribe to the channel. Help support me a lot, man. Uh, 40, no, scratch that. I need 50 plus likes. Follow, uh, help me hit recommend it. Follow my Twitter, Twitch link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. They might reveal the DLC later on today. I'll make a video about that as well. Stay tuned. Till next time, we out. Peace.